Hey, it's Joe from JoeColantonio.com and TestTalks.com, where my mission is to help you succeed with test automation. In this video, I want to quickly share with you a cool little Chrome extension and Firefox add-on named Bug Magnet. Bug Magnet will help you automate some exploratory testing things like data validation input scenarios that are commonly known to cause issues. So let's take a look. Check it out. So to get Bug Magnet for Chrome, you just need to navigate to the chromegoogle.com web store and just do a search for Bug Magnet. You should then see an extension that allows you then to add Bug Magnet. What's cool about Bug Magnet is once it's installed, when you right click on a field in any web application, you'll have a new option in your menu called Bug Magnet. And when you see Bug Magnet, it has a bunch of different options you can use in order to test different types of data input. For example, you can test uh, Chinese characters, make sure that your application is able to handle Chinese characters and it doesn't crash or cause any uh, odd issues. What's cool is it also allows you to test dates. So a lot of times applications have issues with dates or certain types of validations that don't work. So you can uh, go in and try to add different numbers to try to see if your application actually handles that gracefully. And notice for this particular website that it does do some validation and let you know that the data you inputted was incorrect or invalid. It also allows you to test things like security exploits that are common. For example, SQL injection. So SQL injection allows a hacker to throw some SQL statements into your application and try to execute things within your database. So they can either compromise data in your database or actually get hold of sensitive information. So to test that, you, when you go to Bug Magnet, there's actually an option for SQL injection that allows you to test things like that to see what happens when you actually type in valid SQL into your application, how it handles it. Also, email addresses. There's a bunch of different options you can use, invalid or, or valid. Uh, white spaces. Sometimes applications have issues with white spaces. And also text sizes to check if your application fields can handle if someone was to enter in a large amount of data, if that breaks your application, or to test to see if the developer actually has a limit that can be entered in there, if it's actually able to detect that and handle it gracefully. And I actually found a bug with one of my applications using this approach. So let me show you what that looks like when you actually break something, which is really cool. So for my application, I'm just gonna to go to this patient search field. I'm gonna right click on it, and I'm going to add text size with spaces, 32K plus one. So I'm gonna input that 32K string into my field and I'm gonna click on search and bam, check that out. An unknown error occurred and notice how it also shows an unknown error has occurred with the data service. So that's not cool. So obviously this particular field is not checking for string length. So that's cool. That's like a real world application that I was able to actually break using this cool tool. Bug Magnet was developed by Kojo Adzik. He's an author of some popular books like Specification by Example. And also because Bug Magnet is open source, I recently saw a tweet by Brian Goad, who actually took that and implemented a Firefox extension. So thanks to Brian, if you go to the Firefox add-ins and you do a search for Bug Magnet, you can now also add Bug Magnet to Firefox. In my opinion, this is a great little tool to help you with exploratory testing and is a great reminder of the types of problematic user input issues you should be trying against your application. So using Bug Magnet when doing exploratory testing should help uncover issues with your application like error handling, boundary-related errors, and security issues. So that's my quick overview of Bug Magnet. Hope it helps. Cheers.